This is going to be a test of uh, several jackets and a couple of um, waterproof breathable technologies. Uh, I've got the Rain REI Rainwall jacket. I've got the Marmot Nano Pro AS that has Gore-Tex Active in it and no pit zips. I'm fully expecting to see that I still need pit zips. Uh, I've been having uh, Gore-Tex jackets for about 30 years ever since they came out and I've always had pit zips. I always felt the need for them. Uh, all the other jackets in the test have pit zips. The REI Rainwall with a kind of standard uh, polyurethane coating and I'll be testing the Marmot Spectra that has their Nano Pro coating and I'll be testing the Marmot Artemis that has their Nano Pro membrane technology. Now I've had an older precip jacket with the older coating technology and I had a a Marmot jacket with the with their uh, membrane laminate technology a while back and I liked that one a lot. Uh, I thought it was really great but that had pit zips too. So I'm going to be testing these under similar conditions, rain and shine, and uh, see how my standard track can overwhelm the, uh, the waterproof breathable capabilities, the capacity of each jacket. And we'll see what that looks like on this. This tends to show up to the sweat. It tends to uh, this uh, Marmot Dry Climb wind shirt, uh, one of my all-time ever favorite jackets. Um, and um, you'll see that sweat shows up pretty well on this, and it also tends to transport sweat out very quickly and nicely. So whatever I do to overwhelm the, the capacity of these jackets, we'll see it on, on this. And uh, so for those that don't want to go through the, uh, through the whole set of uh, videos, my conclusions um, are, and uh, remember, don't, don't mistake me for any kind of expert in these uh, technologies and designing and building these jackets. But under my conditions, my standard walk, uh, for, for me, the way I sweat under these conditions and the temperatures, et cetera, et cetera, um, I found that the, Nano, the Marmot Nano Pro AS is the best. And I've also found out, um, in, in opposition to my hypothesis, that I can live without pit zips. The Marmot Nano Pro AS, between the design, the Gore-Tex Active technology, and whatever con laminate configuration this has, it breathes better than any other jacket that has pit zips when you're ventilating all those jackets under similar conditions for me. So it's the Marmot Nano Pro AS that I'm gonna, that's gonna be my new do everything all around jacket for everything. It's a uh, typical Marmot, it's the best that I've tried. Uh, matched up even against uh, North Face jackets, Patagonia, Columbia, jackets that I've tested, Mountain Hardware. They all make really, really good stuff. But um, in 30 years, in uh, having Moonstone jackets and uh, Gore-Tex jackets from most of the manufacturers, it's, it's marmot for me, as usual. I'm here today at uh, our sunny OSU campus here in Oregon. Um, this is uh, my, newest, my newest video for the back Adventures in Backpacking blog. Uh, I'm gonna be testing a bunch of new rain jackets, hard shell rain jackets, with waterproof breathable technology. Um, so the first part of this video I'd like to show you, uh, I'll give you some background information, I'll show you what, uh, what jackets I'm testing, and then I'll kind of try them on and show you how they fit differently and uh, get to some of the individual features and um, fabric technologies that they're using and then I'll head into some of the testing and, and start to, to, to let you know what, what kind of stuff, how I, how I like these jackets. So the first jacket, uh, first of all, I'm uh, uh, five foot seven, 150 pounds, uh, so pretty, pretty average, pretty normal, and I'm wearing my, my fantastic Marmot Dry Climb jacket I've had for, for so many years, I can't even remember how, when I got it. It's one of my, my best pieces. And then over that, I'm wearing a, uh, 200 weight, kind of a little bit thick, two or 300 weight uh, Polar Plus jacket. So that gives you an idea. Later on, I'll put it over my down jacket to show you how they fit, and uh, just over a t-shirt to simulate like summer. So the first one I've got, I've been looking at the Marmot Artemis, the new Artemis, which is a great jacket. I've been looking at the Spectra, and um, I've got a an REI Rainwall that uh, I'm replacing now, so I'll compare it to the rain wall and compare some features to the rain wall, which I think is a really great, great designed 
uh, jacket. And um, so the, this is the Marmot Spectra. And this one is the new Marmot Nano, Nano Pro coating. So it's not a laminate, it's a coating. And one of the things I like about what Marmot has been doing is they've been using some of this kind of stretchy fabric. Um, so it's really, really excellent that way. Now they call this, they call this a regular fit. And one thing I want to call attention to is the zipper, because this becomes, if um, when the zipper backing here, the storm flap is properly designed, you never notice it. But when it's not well designed, like on the Artemis, then it becomes a, a major annoyance every day. So this is what this is a medium, what they call a regular fit. Of course, uh, Marmot has their has this their movement nailed down perfectly with their angel wing movement. They've been doing it for a long time. It's very well well refined. Um, you can move your hands around, and the arms don't crawl up, and the jacket doesn't crawl up. Uh, later on, I'll show all the jackets also with uh, the backpacking. Uh, I'll put on one of my backpacks and show how they fit. This one has regular pockets. So it doesn't have what they call their pack pockets. They're not up high. So the, the waist belt is going to interfere with these pockets. But this, the Spectra, has the two top pockets, which are really, really nice, really well designed. And of course, it's all the water resistant, waterproof zippers. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this, these, these major pockets, is there's no mesh backing. And so they're not going to act like uh, any kind of uh, moisture moisture transport like on the other jackets. The Artemis has it and the REI Rainwall has it. Um, this has this has full pit zips. They don't open as fully as some pit zips but it's adequate and they've got it pretty well designed. So this is the this is the Marmot Spectra which I think is a is a really great jacket. The next jacket I'm going to wear is the Artemis, and you'll see what they call their athletic fit. Now again, this is a medium. <laughs> so you see, especially in the body, that we've got a much trimmer fit here. And we've got pack pockets that actually go all the way down to the bottom. These are the, probably the hugest pockets I've ever seen on a rain jacket. So you can fill them up with all kinds of stuff if you want, I guess. Um, but with the waist belt on, see, it's not going to interfere too much with the opening. And then the things will sit here in the opening. No outer chest pockets, but they have this very nice inner chest pocket here with a, with a port, with a port port. So you can see the mesh covering for the pockets that when you've got them open will allow air transport. The Artemis is, is using the new Nano Pro membrane laminate. So this is not the coating, this is the laminate. Um, so it has even better breathability, better water resistance, and probably better, um, uh, so I'll probably cut there and we do this. It has better water resistance, better breathability by a wide margin than the Nano Pro coating, and the laminate will also be more durable uh, and, and resist, resist wet through more than the coatings. Um, the, the Marmot has kept refining their membrane technology for this, for this polyurethane laminate, uh, as opposed to Gore-Tex, which is a Teflon-based laminate. The membrane and the coatings are polyurethane-based laminates, and they're actually performing quite well these days. After some, I'm gonna do some more serious testing, but after some informal testing, I feel like the Artemis is incredibly breathable. Um, it's very waterproof. It's very comfortable. Uh, I don't feel like there's a breeze blowing through either, but so far it's been very, very breathable and very comfortable when I've started to work up a sweat. Now, my main complaint about the Artemis is it does not have a reinforced or, or what they call like a laminated or stiffened zipper brim. So this this zipper constantly catches and jams on this on this flap. When I'm trying to zip it up past here, it catches. When I'm trying to zip it down, it catches. Um, it's, it's a very annoying thing. But otherwise, the stretch fabric that they're using in the Artemis is some of the very best fabric 
of any rain jacket out there. I've tried the Patagonia Torrent Shell, the, the, uh, the, so I'll probably break there too. I've tried the Patagonia, Patagonia Torrent Shell. I'll start again. I've tried the Patagonia Torrent Shell. I've tried the North Face Venture. I've looked at um, what uh, offerings um, Arcteryx and Mountain Hardware have. It's, it's tough to remember all these different brands and names. They're all really good, but not one of them has this kind of fabrics, the kind of fabrics and the, and the level of softness, the level of non-squishiness that Marmot has. Marmot's definitely tops. Um, so I'll show you, next I'll show you how the, now the REI rain wall. Oh, here's a, so the REI rain wall, is REI's polyurethane coating technology and there's a lot to like about this jacket. It kind of fits like an athletic fit. I've really liked this jacket. It's got the extra flap over here which is nice. It's got the it's got a nice chest pocket that's that's also nicely done. And not only are the pockets mesh right here's my hand in there but they do something that i wish marmot would have done on some of theirs and that is you can see this mesh pocket you can see my hand go in here but what you can't see is that this this is a huge interior pocket i can take my rain pants my rei rainwall rain pants fold them up inside their their self their self uh, contained pocket and actually put it in here and then close this up these have been great for holding things in, in, in the rain, like big eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper or something like that. So this is a very, very nicely designed jacket, especially for the, for the price point, which, is, which was under $100. Um, the only problem is, is after a year, it is the, the waterproof breathable coating is actually wetting completely through. And I find that after a while in the rain, that this is just soaking right through to the, the water's going right through to underneath. So uh, that's when I decided to start looking at other jackets. Um, the problem is, is that the DWR on the fabric still works. You can still see the water beating up off of it and falling off for a while. It, it doesn't really wet out, but I find that that, and it's not sweat because I've tested it in the rain without much exertion at all. And still just after about a half hour, it just starts to wet right through to everything underneath and, and leak like crazy. The last jacket I'm gonna show is another Marmot. And this is, this is, is a step up in the line. This is an actual Gore-Tex two and a half layer laminate. So this is the Gore-Tex Active, which is their, is their most breathable material. And Again, you've, you've got an athletic fit. It's got, it's got a stiffened zipper backing, so it doesn't catch or anything. The fit, the fit and the fabric are really fantastic. Let me take this stuff out of here. Pack pockets, no chest pockets, but pack pockets are are mesh backed, so you've got some extra extra backing there. The, the membrane, the Marmot Membrane Nanopro Laminate and the Gore-Tex Active are supposed to be about the same breathability, but the, the Gore-Tex film is supposed to be a little bit more resistant to wetting through, and, but the only thing that I'm going to need to test and evaluate on this is that this, this Marmot, this is the Marmot Nano AS, which maybe stands for all season or something. But uh, the Nano AS is, all, is also a great jacket. They're super lightweight. Um, but one way they've saved on weight on the Nano AS and on cost for a really good quality jacket is there's no pit zips. And so I'm gonna have to evaluate that in heavy exertion in the rain out here in Portland for if, if I really feel that it breathes well enough or if I feel like the sweat is just gonna collect inside there and it doesn't have any way out through pit zips or anything. I've had pit zips on my Gore-Tex and non-Gore-Tex rain jackets for since the 1980s. I've always used them, I've always felt they've helped, but this new, the Gore-Tex Active and the new 
Nano Pro series of coatings and laminates from Armit. I feel like they deserve a real, a real shot at do we really need pit zips anymore for some of these things that have this level of breathability. So I'm going to cut here afterwards and um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, fabric features. I'm going to show you what the cuffs look like and another really important part is I'm going to show you what the hoods are like. Um, one of my problems with the current crop of rain jackets, the hard shell jackets, is that it seems to be a fad, uh, the fad of the day, for them all to be helmet compatible. What happens is, is you know, I walk around Portland and I see all the high-end rain jackets that people are wearing, and none of them seem to be wearing mountaineering helmets. So I, my beef is that the vast majority of people buying these jackets, the vast majority of usage of the jackets is without mountaineering helmets. I really wonder how many people are buying these jackets and, and looking at the description saying, oh, helmet compatible. I'm going to get that because I can wear my helmet all over the place. I can wear my mountaineering helmet to work, right? So they're not wearing helmets with these. The problem is, is that that makes for big floppy hoods that really don't fit people's heads properly. And the when you cinch down the hoods, they have a lot of good hood designs for tightening the hood around the head so it moves with your head. But I'm finding this current crop of hoods. I'll show you the differences between the Artemis, the Spectra, the Nano AS, and the REI Rainwall, the difference in hoods and what they look like and when I adjust them and move